All right. What's going on, motherfuckers? MOD coming at you guys with another mobile walk and talk fucking video. Thursday, April 11th, 2024. And uh, my wrist is getting better. It's just doing studio content is more difficult because I have to move my bed out of my room every time I want to move in my green screen and stuff and my other lights. So I've been taking it really easy on this wrist because, I mean, I got lucky it was only a small crack when I fell on the ice. Anyway, I want to give some shout outs to Barry and Rich, that goat metal show. Uh, Oath of the Goat podcast. Juan, he'll be coming back to the channel as well. Mike Bogish, Shredbeard, Crucifer, and Mordant Red. All those fucking channels are great. And I'm kind of doing a video in response to Mordant Red's, one of Mordant Red's latest video. Uh, one of his latest videos. Uh, so I hope he appreciates this and watches. And the video he did was Why Did People Drop Out of Water? And I thought, you know, that is a really good good topic, and I want to give my opinion on this and my input. Um, so why do people drop out of metal? I have no idea. I think it's a, a plethora of things that contribute to one losing interest in the music. And I think it has to do with said individuals not having a very solid foundation in their belief systems and their convictions and their in their truth their own self-truth I think it has to do with people just jumping on bandwagons and trends and they just want to fit into something or they want to fit into a niche of some kind or they want to be recognized as something or as someone belonging to something or maybe it has to do with pressure from the outside world that you know Oh, you shouldn't be listening to that. That's evil music for for fucking degenerates and for fucking Satan worshippers and all that kind of bullshit that they make excuses about. And then, then those people that are surrounded by people like that, they end up falling prey to those types of pressures to conform and to get out of metal. And... It really sucks because, you know, you have the old school freaks like myself, Mordant Red, Barry and Rich, Tone Joker NYC, uh, Ken's Death Metal Crypt. You got a lot of old school dudes in the game that still love this music to death. And I, I think that's what it has to start at. I mean, you've got to be into it 100%. And... I think what's kept me into it for so many years, for like 30 plus years, is the fact that it's one of the only things I've ever been able to count on when I'm in a really bad situation. When I'm in a, going through something really horrible or something bad happens that I didn't expect, it's there for me to get me through it, to pull me through. Uh, also because I have a wide, wide range of tastes from death doom to classic death metal thrash metal, traditional metal, uh, doom metal, funeral doom metal, raw black metal, uh, you know, all that cool shit, war metal. So I think I have a diverse enough taste in the music itself. And that's really what keeps me into it. It's just knowing that there's always going to be cool stuff out there. There's always going to be new bands doing doing music the way I want it done. Doing metal the right way. And giving it their all. Um, but it, it it's like anything. People in this day and age, they're not... Their attention spans are so short. They're so fucking programmed to be like the microwave generation. And they expect instant gratification out of things and they just they just want to hop on to the next fucking trend or the next fucking what's cool or popular and they don't really have any staying power with anything because they in themselves don't possess any type of long-term interest in things or or integrity they just they switch on and off to things 
And that to me is definitely something that stems from that type of personality that that person might have. Maybe their personality is they are full of shit. Maybe they're just trend hoppers. Maybe they just, they're just, they're trying to be into metal, but they're not really having that right passion and spirit for it. So I think maybe that has a lot to do with with the reasons why people may get into music like that and then they get out of it. Um, I think that has a lot to do with it, you know. So, I mean, I'm not entirely sure what causes it, but I can tell you right now that uh, it's definitely not something I'll ever outgrow. I don't think that's possible. I think if you're really into it, you're going to uh, you're going to stay into it, and you're going to continue to be into it, and it's going to mean a lot to you. You know, regardless of what anybody says or how anyone treats you because you're still into that kind of music. I think some people miss the entire point when it comes to that because it isn't about camaraderie or having friends or making friends. It's not about acceptance, people accepting you. It's about individual individuality and strength. It's about standing on your own two feet, your own beliefs, and not giving a fuck when anybody does, says, thinks, or believes in other than yourself. I mean, that's that's really what it is. And so maybe people drop out of it because they don't have that kind of self-conviction. Maybe they're not as strong as some people in that aspect, and maybe they just give up because they're like, well, this music's just not doing anything for me anymore. And, I don't know, man. It's really messed up. But it's like that with anything. People, you know, they change careers, they change jobs, they they change fucking who they're married to. Like, this day and age, it's like nobody has any idea who they are anymore. And they just want to fucking find the next best thing to entertain them for a few months, and then they jump to something else. So those are my thoughts on why people get a drop out of metal. That's just what I think. Um, that's my thoughts. Anyway, I'm out.